So we'll yeah. go ahead and judge this thing. So, so as you as you can imagine in life, uh, and as a judge, one of the most important things that we we give people is notice and opportunity to be heard. Yes, sir. All right, and that means that you don't. No one walks into my courtroom. I don't. I don't. Uh, there's always two parties, right? Sometimes there's more than two parties, but generally speaking, you got you know plaintiff, defendant. You got a you got a respondent and a petitioner, two mm -hmm. parties, mm -hmm. and and one you know you always want to hear both sides of a of a story before you make any decisions. Yes, sir. On, right. So let me let me just say that uh, the news articles are not both sides of the story, mm -hmm. and I'll explain that. Uh, there was my wife was speaking. None of the news, none of the news media before they published anything contacted us and of gave us an opportunity. Not. So we had uh, Creative Loafing. Uh, every time they've done an article, they say we've reached out to Judge Smith multiple times, we never returned contact. I can tell you, they never called me. They called me one time a couple days ago, but for all the weeks that they've been running articles, they've never once called me. And the one time they called me, I picked up the phone right away and I told Justin Garcia, I said, "Hey, I'll call you right back. I'm about to go into something." He published his article within two hours. I didn't give him a chance. Yes, sir. That. So that's what I've been dealing with. Uh, Patrick Montega published an article in La Gazeta, which a lot of people have read, just really defaming my wife and making making it sound like she had said something anti-Semitic. He has my cell phone. Never called me. Never said, "Hey, can you please get, you know, you know, Jared? I've known you for clarify. years. Known you for years. Can you just clarify? I got this weird video from your wife." 